collision course with a rogue planet. It happened 4.5 billion years ago, and it's happening again right now. The gravitational pull from the rogue planet has already whipped up supersonic winds, megaquakes, and volcanic blasts, and stolen Earth's atmosphere, killing nearly all of mankind. As the surface of the Earth cracks into pieces, there is one group of survivors. A thousand feet below the Pacific, the crew of the USS West Virginia are on a pressurized nuclear-powered submarine with its own oxygen supply. They are unaware of the apocalypse unfolding above them. Suddenly, they are thrown back as the rogue planet's gravity now claims its next victims, Earth's oceans. You've seen the oceans and any other body of water wanting to flow and lift off toward the rogue planet. The oceans and everything in them leaving planet Earth and floating away, merging uh, into space. in this big zero-g fishbowl floating off toward the planet. Now, there are only 1,200 miles between the two planets. After almost 4.6 billion years, Earth is in its final moments. But there will be no actual impact with the larger planet. The end is something far more destructive. It's not something coming in and smacking. The gravity becomes so strong that the Earth gets sucked toward it, and as it's getting sucked toward it, it heats up, stretches out, crumbles. Gravity is pulling harder on Earth the closer it gets, and the rogue planet there's so much gravity that it actually pulls on one side of the planet more than the other. The Earth itself is being crushed and cracked and pulled and stretched. Finally, the pull of the rogue planet's gravity is so strong, Earth can no longer hold its shape. The Earth gets ripped apart. Pieces are fanning off and things are like drifting away. There will be recognizable little bits of skyscrapers, palm trees here and there. And so the Earth would degenerate into a meteor storm that's falling and burning up in the atmosphere of this other world. Everything that goes into the giant planet gets crushed out of existence. The remains of Earth, now nothing more than cosmic debris, barely make a ripple in the rogue planet's atmosphere. The light from the destruction takes several minutes to travel to Mars.